what's up beautiful people you see that welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video from pink book lessons oh my god and this is titled spicy dominican puerto rican kicked out of dubai forever after putting a pause on airport staff amazing interesting i saw this, saw this particular topic or story in the news but um so many people had different narrative which we didn't know which was exactly true or the right one but i always love listening to this lady from pink book lessons because i always love our commentary to subject matters or topics like this so yeah let's check it out by now i'm sure you're aware of another flamingo that got caught up in dubai then they paraded her fake sob story around to pressure dubai into allowing her to come back to the united states and avoid serving the one-year prison sentence that she was given for acting like a tasmanian devil while the media covered her story like she's saint mary yeah the mm. spicy latina got sassy at a dubai airport they sentenced her to a year to cool down but after a the this led organization detained in dubai sent out a press release got all the American blocks and media to cover the story in a way to make the criminal the victim. Dubai allowed the woman to leave the country and return to the US. Take a mm. second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates. Here's a lesson for today. Thou shall not go to Dubai acting like a spoiled, disrespectful, uncontrollable, entitled American. Whatever I happens, like, you I don't get it. Acting out of order is your own fault. It's your business. Do not yes. come sending your half stories through the media, or like the folks would say back in the 20th century, don't have the papers out here writing up these stories to make everybody feel sorry for you. Because that's exactly. what this organization has done twice Dude. within the last few months, attempting to ruin the reputation of a country that did nothing to us Americans. Nothing to yes, to spoil exactly. Americans like Elizabeth, most of these folks, women, going over there acting a plum fool being rude mm -hmm. and disrespectful and that's how they're getting jammed up yeah they go over there yeah. acting like wild zoo animals and then use these heathen stories to outright scare americans out of going to dubai like Stop going over there for real messing things up for the rest of us and trust me they do not want exactly. them in their country anyway they want respectful mm -hmm. people that know how to act and as americans exactly. we're outsiders we have to respect that or just stay home in america and that's exactly yeah. what this young woman right here should have done 21 year old Elizabeth Polanco de Los Santos, a resident of Bronx, New York. She was traveling back home to New York from a trip to Turkey with her friend. They chose a flight with a 10 hour layover in Dubai instead of a flight with a layover in Paris. It was that flight from Turkey to America with a stop in the UAE that got her there on July 14th, 2023, where she went through wow. airport security in Dubai. Elizabeth had on a compression garment basically a really tight waist trainer because apparently she recently had a BBL, a cosmetic surgery. She was told to take the waist trainer off because she had to be searched. Why? Yes. Well, because you're in another country and they will search you to make exactly. sure that you're not smuggling any illegal substances. For yes. once, Elizabeth was already mad and had an attitude because she didn't want to take off that waist trainer. This garment that really? she had on is hard to put on and hard to take off. In addition, apparently she was still healing from the surgery. So it feels more comfortable for her to have that compression garment on as her skin and her wounds are still healing. Taking the Just garment off can seconds. cause discomfort or may even be painful depending on how long ago this surgery was. So being told that she had to take the thing off for the search, that was a starting point for the meltdown. Dubai airport security took her to a private female booth with female officers where the women took the waist trainer off. That's because she said that she couldn't do it herself Elizabeth said the women gave her nasty stares and claims they laughed at her. So now she's more angry because she's thinking that they're laughing at her or believing they're looking at her in disgust. Then when the search was oh over, God. she needed help to get the waist trainer back on because depending on how tight it was, it could take two people to get this garment back on. So she started screaming for her friend to come help her and claimed she gently tapped the female security guard because she needed help and then they hauled her off the jail. As soon as I heard this, I knew this story wasn't the whole truth. Yeah. They left out a lot and even switched up the words to make it seem like this woman wasn't being aggressive and didn't put hands on anybody. She was arrested for assault and this weird organization detained in Dubai told everybody in America that she was arrested for quote, gently tapping a woman. Now, what? I was born at night, but not last night. This is why you always yeah. have to analyze what you're reading and also research to see who's writing these reports and where did they get the information from. From, yes. If you see any quotes from detained in Dubai, beware of what you're reading. 
they told the same ridiculous story about the sassy trucking lady who got stuck yes. out there for some months. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, this is the part nice. that no one told you. This organization is led by feminists. They wrote the press release here. They sent it to American media. This is why every single blog, every single newspaper, every TV station and cable this, network yeah. repeated the same distorted story, mm. leading Americans to believe that if you go to an airport in Dubai and gently tap a security guard, you're going to get a year in prison. They're not telling you if you put hands on one of them, if you physically attack somebody, you will be sentenced to jail. And even in America, exactly. you can get serious yeah. charges for the same offense. I mean, this organization, they changed this whole story up to make Elizabeth a victim. Like she didn't do anything. She only gently tapped the female Tap. officer. We all know this woman was hysterical because one, she didn't want to be searched. She was mm -hmm. uncomfortable because she's still healing from cosmetic surgery. She was frustrated that they even made her go through with it. She was thinking that she could protest it and give some excuse and they'll leave her alone. But nah, that didn't work. Didn't work. She was insecure about all of it. So she was thinking that she was being picked on. Didn't matter that she couldn't speak their language. So she had no clue what they said. She only made assumptions. And even if they did say something, that did not give her the authorization to put hands on those women. Exactly. And if all of that wasn't enough, she took the tight behind compression garment off but had to get help to put it back on. So what did she do? Instead of remaining calm and going through the process, she started having a meltdown. This woman was having a full out tantrum, started kicking and screaming like a little two year old, and then went even further. She put hands on a female security guard because she's from the Bronx, and you already know they got that Timberland boot. Yeah. Energy. Cardi B's exactly. her cousin really wanted to fight that day. But now they want us all to believe she gently tapped somebody. Tapped, like, yeah. Like, cut it out, she like, hit that lady. Then she messed around and found out that Timberland Boot Energy is acceptable in the Bronx and throughout mm -hmm. America, mm -hmm. but not in Dubai. I'm exactly. talking about that sassy attitude, that obnoxious demeanor of a Bronx Dominican or Puerto Rican woman. She's no concrete rose or dandelion. For those who don't know, I'll tell you. The Bronx Bonita Shakita is just as out of order as Starkeisha. <laughs> so Shakita was barking like a little chihuahua and started growling like a pit bull. Thought she could jump bad, but she tried the wrong people in the wrong place. Exactly. Then you all know American media went working overtime trying to make this woman out to be as much as a victim as possible instead of letting everybody know that she was an out of order, unruly, disrespectful, entitled woman. Look at these headlines. New York City college student sentenced to a year in Dubai prison after touching airport security touching? guard's arm. Oh my God. Or this one right here. New York student faces Dubai jail after humiliating treatment. And here's another one. New York college student being held in Dubai for quote, touching female security guard. And they're using really? these words to try to minimize what this woman did. And it made it seem like she was being punished unjustly. Go ahead and take a look at these pictures here. There are several pictures of the student. She is 21 year old Elizabeth Polanco de los Santos and she was detained in Dubai back in July. Now she was accused of assaulting and insulting an airport security screener there. An organization that is called Detained in Dubai which helps foreigners who are traveling in the United Arab Emirates says the charges against her are bogus and that it is very common practice in Dubai in order to extort money out of travelers. Elizabeth was traveling with a friend and they had a layover in Dubai. Now when she went through security she says she had to take off a medical brace that she was wearing around her waist and she says some female screeners got rough with her in the process of that. When they did allow her to put the brace back on she says she needed her friend's help and that she was crying and she nudged one of the screeners arms in order to get to her friends so that her friend could help her and that is when she was detained. Lie, 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 lie. Thank you. Lie, 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 so lie, they lie. had everybody believing this 21 year old college student was so sweet and innocent and Dubai detained her for no reason at all. They used that narrative to gather support and get the US to push to get her back. They had all these flamingos on social media talking about that's why they're not going to Dubai. Let's be honest, a lot of them can't even afford the flights to go unless they get hired yes, by exactly. one of those guys out there to pay them to be their toilet. And Thank then the you, ones mom. afraid who can't afford it. This scares them because they know they're unruly and disrespectful, just like this hyena. So they could also mm -hmm. go over there and get jammed up. Back to this organization that was in charge of promoting the narrative. They reported that she was falsely accused of, quote, assaulting and insulting Dubai airport staff. 
The founder of that organization called for increased travel warnings to U.S. citizens. Elizabeth was only there for a layover. She ended up being there for a couple of months and claimed that she lost $50,000 in expenses and lawyers and was told she had to do one year in prison. But if all went well, she would be let off and allowed to book a flight out of the UAE. Well, fortunately for Elizabeth, all went well and she was able to leave Dubai and go back home. Well, now the latest from the story of a young local woman who found herself on the wrong side of the law while traveling overseas. Linda Schmidt has been following all the twists and turns, and she joins us live from our newsroom with the latest. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen Teresa. Well, first of all, we are told that she is from the Bronx, and yesterday she was sentenced to one year in prison in Dubai. Well, now we are hearing that sentence has been suspended, and she is on her way home to the U.S. According to this organization, Elizabeth was humiliated, suffered months of being forced to stay in an expensive country, pay expensive lawyers, and missed out on her university studies. They call Dubai's justice system backwards. Never mind this woman's out of order, unruly behavior. That wasn't backwards. In another country. But being unaccountable and punished for her bad behavior was backwards. This organization said the woman who committed a crime against another woman was being hustled. An organization that is called Detained in Dubai, which helps foreigners who are traveling in the United Arab Emirates, says the charges against her are bogus and that it is very common practice in Dubai in order to extort money out of travelers. Really? Yeah, they tried to paint the same narrative that they did with the other woman. They said that she was being hustled. But in that mm. same paragraph, they also said Elizabeth tried to pay off the female security guards in order to get those women to drop the case. But guess what? These women that so-called tried to hustle her, they would not accept the money. The woman over this organization said that often allegations are used by complainants to secure large settlement payments to close the case. But again, why would you be saying this if it's not true? If it's all about exactly. the money and the women are just trying to swindle her, why didn't they accept the money Elizabeth offered them to drop the charges? It's because it wasn't about the money. It was yes. the principle. She went over there with her spicy Dominican Puerto Rican attitude straight from the Bronx, had the nerve to put her hands on one of the women, and then turned into a complete victim. Mm. Yeah, this isn't about money. It's about disrespect and accountability. Disrespect, they sent yes, her exactly. to one year in prison after making her pay a $2,200 fine. But look what happened at the end of the day. She was still able to skip out on that prison sentence. Yeah, the U.S. stepped in and got this spicy delinquent back to the States. Listen, if you did what Elizabeth did at TSA, no matter if it was JFK, Hartsville, Jackson, or LAX, George Bush, and Ronald Reagan, you're going to jail too. I've covered exactly. so many of those stories. Yes, you act up at TSA in the US, you're going to jail. It's yes. not just Dubai. And even if you go to other countries in the West, like for instance, Colombia, with one of those garments the on, thing. they will search you too. A lot of countries exactly. will do that, including America. Yeah, mm -hmm. if you go through TSA and you had on something, they're going to tell you to take it off. And if you want to fly, people usually comply. But if you start assaulting a TSA officer over here in the U.S., you're going to jail too. I don't know why they make it seem like we don't have rules here at all. This orderly like... conduct battery, all of that is against the law here too. And Elizabeth, you deserved it. This is your learning lesson. The organization so was out here saying, poor girl, this, poor girl, that. And she was too young to be going through this. Number one, she is not a girl. She's a 21-year-old yes. woman, a woman, woman who put herself in this situation. She did exactly. that. And if she's old enough for surgery, old enough to travel across the world, old enough to raise Your her hand to another woman or anybody, then she was old enough to suffer the consequences. Exactly. Now, you know the usuals defended her while Elizabeth was still detained over there in Dubai. The sassy truck lady tried to extend her 15 minutes of fame. She was yeah. on IG going back and forth with people, still not taking accountability for her own actions that got her hands up in Dubai months before Elizabeth. Shout oh. out to longtime subscriber of the channel, Jojo Ranya. Jojo Ranya made this comment on IG under one of the blogs. He came in there with common sense. He said, y'all are really mad at Dubai because Americans are over there acting a fool? Shaking my head, y'all like... really just hate accountability. Right exactly. away, this random rebellious woman right here, she was defending Elizabeth by responding to JoJo saying, touching his arm is acting a fool. Mm. Now, if you've been listening to this whole story, you would know that these charges against Elizabeth did not come from her putting hands on a man. It was the female security guards that pressed charges on her. But again, for these misandrists, of course, it's always a man. Exactly. The sassy trucking lady responded to him, why your black self siding with Arabs? Dubai is corrupt. 
then he responded with the truth. He told her everyone knows you was over there acting up. They had you on video mm -hmm. acting wild in the Caribbean too. And you see what her answer was? She told him you are the problem. Now this is hilarious. She's calling a law abiding citizen the problem when she was yeah. the one going from country to country getting into disputes. From getting into it with friends in Puerto Rico way before she went to Dubai acting up over there and the government had to get her out of trouble. But of course, she couldn't say it wasn't true because it's on video. Instead, she told him that he was the problem. So the person over there acting a fool isn't the problem. The problem mm. is the person commenting on the person acting a fool. I mean, they're really crazy. They say anything. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. They're ignoring how Elizabeth got into this altercation with other women. Why did they ignore her behavior that got her into this mess? Honestly, I don't get the craziness that these people go to do in someone else's country, in, in another country. I mean, it's plain and simple. In fact, when I first heard the narrative, when I first uh, checked the news and I heard the story, the new story did not say it was a layover. The story was completely different. And um, other person said, oh, she learned and um, took out time to learn the uh, practices in dubai she went to dubai on vacation and everything that was a different narrative and now yeah you're saying that she it was sentenced to one year imprisonment for tapping well like come on for tapping a female officer which is all lies i don't get it i don't get how these people lots of americans don't want to be don't want to take accountability for their actions they, 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 now they're here calling this 21 year old lady woman a child she's freaking 21 she's old enough to do a bbl she's a, she's an adult she's not a child she knows what she's doing therefore she should take accountability for her actions because someone who is old enough to do a bbl surgery is also old enough to suffer the consequences of your actions so don't tell me this is a child why i don't get how these people paint the narrative and make it seem like dubai all of a sudden hates america dubai don't hate you it happens to other parts of the world people and just in case you it's because lots of you people don't travel so you don't know the laws or you don't know how these work and because some of you grew up in lawlessness and are not uh, held accountable for your actions you think is practically okay to misbehave when you go to another person's country or when you go to somewhere else it's okay to misbehave this is what happens everywhere even if you're going to america you're you'll be asked you'll be searched i don't think there is anywhere you would go that they won't search you except just a local flight local flight most likely they're also going to search you but of course, lots of people don't even know how this works or don't travel. So all of a sudden, they just wake up and say, oh, don't travel to Dubai. Dubai don't want you. Dubai is after your money. Well, Dubai don't want your ratchet behavior. Because if you go to some, uh, some country and you act right, of course, they'll welcome you in open hands. I don't think anybody goes to America and misbehave and America will let them go scot-free. It don't work like that. There are rules. Just in case you don't know, there are rules. And of course, most of you don't know what accountability means or accountability is. So of course, you go out to misbehave. And because of the American entitled behavior, you take it all around you because it's more like a clothing on you. So you take it all around you to misbehave and wait for America to come um, bail you out of your craziness and your foolishness outside of the country. Because of course, your entitled american self always want to misbehave and think because you you're american citizen therefore you can misbehave anywhere you go and therefore they'll give you the glory or they'll clap for you because you're an american citizen you don't walk that way if you're going somewhere act right and behave right dubai is not chasing anybody from coming to dubai the only thing is when you come to dubai leave your western and your american entitlement and come here and act right i mean there are a couple of americans that travel to dubai daily and they act right and they be and you don't hear them in the news causing troubles or disgracing america for nothing but you see all of these crazy people or all of these people because they are so used to craziness from where they're from so they t they think everywhere behaves like the, the your local environment or the place you're from you don't work like that there are places that you have to act civil in case where you're from you don't you're, you're not 
um, required to act civil well that's good for you but when you're leaving the chores of your home you act civil i hope lots of people learn from this but of course people will not learn from because there is always going to be a, part, a particular blog or blog news that is going to make these people popular and not want to hold them accountable for their action therefore they are also entitled to misbehave of course the sassy trucker would defend her because best of the same feather do what flock together but yeah kudos to this lady on pink book lessons because um she this right here is completely different from the information that i saw online and the story because when i saw the story i knew all of the narrative that they've been painting on were all lies because listen dubai is a country with laws and whether you're a foreigner or you're a citizen or you're there act right and follow their laws or follow their rules and enjoy your stay while in dubai you can misbehave when you're out of dubai but just obey their rules obey their laws no one goes to somebody's house and misbehave because they are rules but yeah let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below what are your thoughts about this lady's um behavior in dubai and the information we've gathered here i really love your honest contribution in the comment down below you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful and until next time see you in the next video